Hi everyone, it's Carol from aquahaven747.com. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I put together my emergency binder, uh, otherwise known as a grab-and-go binder, uh, in case I have to leave my home in a hurry. And if you are interested in making one for yourself, I also have free printables available for you. I will put the link down below. So let's get going. Okay, so here is my new emergency grab and go binder. It's got a handle, it's got an extra little um, zippered pouch at the front that if I need to put pieces of paper in or pamphlets or anything, I can do that. And I open up, it's got three divided pockets here on this side, a little zippered mesh pocket here, and then of course the elastic um, thing there that can hold the um, highlighter, the scissors, and the pen. And here I've got a little notebook and a solar calculator. Now in this back, these back pockets, I'm going to be putting maps in the uh, in one of them there because you know your phone may not be working, um, you may not have a GPS, and sometimes just the old-fashioned maps are good to have at least for your local area. So I'll be grabbing one of those for there. And I also have photocopied um, uh, the front page of my will, uh, which has my executors and my lawyer's name and number and all that stuff, and my copies of my POA. So hopefully we don't need to use that. Hopefully I don't need to use any of this stuff. But if I do, it's all together in one place and um, will be handy to just grab and go if I have to get out of the house quickly. Um, now, I have quite a lot of stuff that I needed to put in here. Uh, you may not have nearly as much, so you could maybe use something like this, a little duotang with uh, pockets inside. You can have the uh, printouts and then take photocopies of your um, important documents that you need to have in here as well. Um, and I will have a link below for all of these printables that you can get for free. So um, if you're interested in putting together an emergency binder of your own, um, just uh, head there. <laughs> so I'm going to go through everything here with you. Um, there's the cover page. I've got everything in protective plastic. Um, there is a family member profile page, which uh, you can print as many as you need for uh, however many adults you have in your household. I also have uh, child ones that are a little bit different. Um, they also have school and daycare information on them. And of course, I also have um, one for pets because they're family too, right? And they're just like our kids. So there's information for them as well. And I've just, for this video, taken out all my kids' stuff. Um, they are color-coded with the tabs, so I got photocopies of their uh, birth certificates and things like that. Um, but that's all personal information I'm not going to be sharing with you today, as I'm sure you would understand. So, uh, emergency number page, uh, you can write in your local police and fire and all that kind of stuff. Now, contactless. If for some reason you don't have your phone or your phone dies, I mean, most of us have gotten so used to just having all of our contact numbers in our phone. We don't even remember our, our own phone number sometimes. So it's good to have it written down. So this is a good backup for that. Same goes with medical contacts and financial contacts. If you need to get a hold of your bank, credit card company, whatever. If you lose your credit card, you need the number to phone, here it is. And you can use these pages, not just in an emergency, like when you have to go out of the house, but even while you're home. So um, that's that. We've got insurance information. Definitely need that kind of stuff. Auto info and contacts. Okay. Now here I have a list of important documents that you may want to photocopy and, uh, and put in here. Uh, I still have to get uh, some photocopies of diplomas. But uh, there's that. Now I've got my photocopied information here, which I'm not showing you, it's for obvious reasons. Um, now you may have uh, a way of 
keeping your passwords in a digital format. Um, but if for some reason that does not work, um, it's always good to have a backup with them written down here. And in the back here, I have another like mesh envelope with a zipper on it. And I would be throwing in my hard drive. I've got some USB things here, extra phone charger. I'd probably put the extra charger in here as well. Now, the other thing to remember about these emergency binders, um, you do not want them to be obvious to someone if they were to break into your house. So I would probably put them in a place that would not be, you know, accessible to uh, a thief coming into your house. Maybe, I don't know, maybe hide it in a closet or a drawer or somewhere that you, but you would need to know where it is so you can just grab it when you need to go. Um, I've also heard some people uh, suggesting just putting it in a regular binder, but have it name something totally different. So they would never know that that's what it is. Um, yeah, uh, the smaller format here um, would be um, easier to put in your uh, 72 hour kit, which I'm also working on. So that will be in a um, another video, hopefully not too long because this is emergency preparedness um, week coming up here in Canada and I am working on it. Well, that's it for my emergency binder. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you got some good tips. And if you're interested in making your own, I have the free downloadable printables. I'll put the link down below for you. And um, you can head on over to the website to get more um, details if you are interested. So anyway, um, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.